play on your YouTube content. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at how you can be breaking down each individual episode that you're shooting to make sure that you get everything done in the most time-effective way possible without forgetting anything, without having to go back to do steps. And if you listen closely, I have a little something for you. Now, as we talk about this, we are talking about specific episodes, not your entire monthly content. We do talk about that in other videos, but for this, we're focusing on one specific episode. And the first thing you need to do is list out your topic. Your topic is what you're gonna be talking about, and this does not have to be perfectly worded, but you do have to be aware of what you're going to be talking about and how it's going to play into the flow of your channel. Once you have your topic written down, then you actually need to hone it down into your specific title. You're gonna do your keyword research on this one, make sure it's an SEO-friendly title, and use something like TubeBuddy to run it through a check to see if it's going to be effective for you or not, or if you need to reword it. Now, if you need a tutorial on how to do that, I've linked that down below for you. And as you're researching your title, you also want to be taking into account other keywords that you might want to use in association with the topic you're speaking about. Now, as you write down your keywords on your list, these are things that you can use inside of the context of your video. Keywords are going to be picked up by the algorithm and they're going to pay attention to these things as they're then answering other people's questions and showing them your content. So your keywords can be a list of things that you're going to have to use in your tag section later, words that you're going to be using inside of your video, and maybe some of those will also make it into your title. Next, you need to plan out your sections so you know your talking points. This way you have a strong beginning, middle, and end to your video. You have that conclusion that's going to give them the call to action and they know exactly what they're going to be doing next. But this is also incredibly helpful if you change your backgrounds or locations or positions on camera like I do with my videos so that you can deliver small sections of content and then stop and then move locations and then make it a seamless video and intentionally create it with those different backgrounds instead of having to pause while you're doing your videos and while you're figuring out what it's next to say or having a weird cut where you clearly stopped and started in the same location. And speaking of locations, you do need to plan out where you're going to be filming your video. Now, not everybody needs to do this, but if you're somebody who likes those details, you can mark next to your sections where you're going to be filming it. If you have a routine with what you're doing and you're just bouncing from setup one to two to three, then it's kind of an easy flow for you to just be able to move. But if you like setting up your camera and filming section one and section four and section seven all in one location and then moving and doing section two and section whatever, you're then going to be able to have that marked down so you know exactly what you're saying in which location to make it easier for yourself. Now at this point, you're going to need to enlist any additional requirements that you're going to need for this video. So if you need a prop or if you need a specific location or if you need a specific B-roll clip, you need to list this down now to make sure you're filming this or you have those objects ready ready before you start filming. Because if you start your conversation and realize I was supposed to be holding a coffee cup so that I could make a point and you don't have it, that means you have to stop what you're doing and start all over again. So have your list of things that you're going to need, have them ready to go so that you do not have to stress as you're filming. At this point, you also want to make sure you have your tags ready to go. Tags are going to be things that you put at the bottom of your YouTube videos. And while they're not super relevant anymore, not 100% necessary, it's good to have them there. It's just kind of an extra way to show the algorithm what you're talking about, but these tags may also help you to put specific keywords inside of your videos. So listing out as much information as possible beforehand means that it's already in your mind, it's already in your thought process as you're going into this video, which means you're going to make it much more hyper-specific to what is going to be valuable to the algorithm to show you to more people. So list out any tags you could potentially be using and just keep them in the back of your mind in case it comes up in conversation as you're filming your video. You also need to make sure that you're ready for the thumbnail of your video. This is going to be the selling point of your video, the thing that people see and decide yes or no. It's the book cover that they decide to read your story on, and you have to make sure that you're prepared for that. So you need to decide what you want to do. If you want to try different poses or different facial expressions, you need to be prepared for that, and then you need to fit it into your schedule so that you have time either before you shoot the video so you don't forget, or right after you shoot the video in that same outfit, in the same space, so that you're totally prepared to do this, and you know how to create your thumbnails because we have those tutorials down below for you on a thumbnails and what's going to work best on the platform for you and how to do that research and you want to make sure that you are aware of what you want to do beforehand so that you're not wasting time trying 700 poses or different lighting or different outfits or cutting it out in different ways or putting it on different backgrounds know what you want before you go into it and tweak it as needed to save yourself some time and a lot of stress you also need to make sure that you have any links for videos that you're going to mention inside of the story planned out before you go into your video now of course as you're having your conversation you might think of a video that you have already 
already created that you can link, and that's fine. But getting the work done in advance not only tells you what's going to fit really well into your content, but it also saves you time when you are then in the upload process. So once you know what you're going to be talking about topic-wise inside of your video, start thinking of a couple of videos that you have that might work with this topic. If they go into the flow of your content and add benefit to the people, turn it into a bingeable watch list inside of your caption. List them out in advance so that you are 100% certain that you're going to say them inside of the video and mark which section you want them into. Because as you're recording those different sections, if you can look over and you can see that you are going to be talking about this video, it makes it much easier to work into the conversation without it being stressful or feeling forced and you don't have to worry about forgetting them in the process. You also want to make sure you have a notes section for any thoughts or feelings, timelines or schedules that you want to put at the bottom of your plan. Now this is to leave yourself notes so that you know what to do when you're uploading or what to do when you're filming, whatever it happens to be. This is also a great place to brainstorm spin-off videos, things that you can mention at the end of your video for upcoming videos and get that call to action for hitting the subscribe and notification bell into your videos so that they know what is coming next. Use your note space to really fill out what you're going to be doing and make sure you have any final thoughts before you go into filming. If you need more help planning your YouTube videos, I've got a full playlist linked down below that will help you from start to finish to grow your channel where you are right now. I will see you in the comments for any questions that you have and daily for new videos on the channel.